right, the next thing we're going to talk about is inequalities. Um, the inequalities on this test are actually, they look really complicated, but mostly they break down to just two-step equations. So you don't need to plug in as much as you think that you do. So let's look at number 11 here. Solve 20x minus 18 is less than 50, is less than 36x minus 16. One, two inequalities. That means there's one, two problems. This is a cat dog. So you solve that one, and then somewhere else you come down and you solve the other one. Keep everything in the same spot. All I did was just keep the middle, write it down twice. It's cat dog. Here's the cat head, here's the dog head, and 50 is the body, of course. Now, they're easy to solve. You add 18, you get 68. Bring down your 20x, divide by 20. Sixty-eight BC twenty gives me three and two fifths. That's one of them, just like that. Divided by twenty, it's just solving it. And the next one, I'm going to do draw my line. I'm going to add sixteen to both sides. It gives me sixty-six. I'm going to divide. Because this is positive right here, I'm not going to flip it over, so x is going to be greater than the next part. So I do 66 divided by 36. I get 1 and 5 6. Look for that relationship right here. x is greater than 1 and 5 6. x is less than 3 and 2 fifths. So make sure you have both parts. I'm looking for x is less than 3 and 2 fifths, so it's going to be either this one. Sorry, you can't see them. It's either going to be this one or this one. So this one's out, and so is this one. Then you look for the other one. The other one's 1 and 5 sixths. It's this right there. Very simple. Uh, the other one, I think it's number 55. Yep. Compound inequalities. Actually, in this uh, situation, it's not a compound inequality. This is a misprint. This is an absolute value inequality. So I'm going to go over to this part over here. And by the way, if you get this question, sum means add, and k is the same as x. I'm just saying. Anyway, um, so I'm going to do this problem right here. This is an absolute value inequality. All you have to do is write it down as normal and solve and then you write it down as normal inside the inequality, and then you flip this, or inside the absolute value, flip the inequality over, and change the sign on the number. So change the 27. So then you just solve them. Divide by negative 3. And if I'm dividing by a negative, I've got to flip this thing over. So n is greater than or equal to negative 7. On the other side of it, strike 6. Negative 33. Don't be ridiculous. I almost put negative 21 here, too, if some of you thought of that. then We're in the same boat, but I was at least smart enough to go back and look. Divide by uh, negative 3, and you get positive 11. But since this is negative, I've got to flip this thing over. So n is less than a negative, or n is less than 11, but n is greater than negative 7. So I'm going to go back over here. Could I have solved it out? Sure. But why would I do that? Um, in this one, it's really actually easier than I thought it was. So they wanted you to just change it into the form that you had to use. I don't know if you can see it as well as you should. There you go. That's a nice picture. So really, when you have this, you're just going to rewrite it as shown. So find one that has 6 minus 3n is less than or equal to 27. 6 minus 3n is less than or equal to 27. Well, there's one right there. This one has negative 27 in it, so be careful. And the other one, uh, 6 minus 3n is... So the first one's going to look like this. The other one is going to look like th 
this. So I flip this inequality and change the sign, just like I said to do here. I just wasn't looking at the answer, so don't waste time like I did. Um, but in case you get a problem like that, I did throw it in there. So I find 6 minus 3n is less than 27, so here's one that has it. Uh, this one also happens to have it, because all it has to be is this 27 is on the bigger end, and in this case it is, so it's either b or c. So I look for 6 minus 3n is greater than or equal to negative 27. 6 minus 3 is greater than or equal to negative 27. So this one works perfectly, so it is b. By the way, the negative will always be to the left if it's correctly written. So you should get b for number 55. Now for your problem... you will be doing number 39 and you're going to be careful because these are greater than less than situations so you're going to be smart and plug in like you always do and find one that makes this true and also makes this one or makes the other one true so one or the other will be made true by plugging in one of these values good luck